To be sent out is what mission is all about. Mission means that we are sent to do the work of the one who has sent us. You know, the mission of the church must be art intra before it's art extra. That is to say, the mission of the church begins a mission towards the people of God and from the people of God to the world. So it's very important if we want to have a missionary church, we must first form disciples. Unless we first equip our missionaries, form them well, appoint them, the mission of the church cannot be well equipped. And so how do we form missionaries, appoint leaders? The first thing the church must do is always the work of discernment. Discernment is very important. The discernment of leaders in the church. That is why vocation screening is so difficult task in the church. In spite of all the vocation screening, sometimes we still get priests and religious who are not, so to speak, suitable for priestly religious life. We need a proper communal discernment. Prophets are still important in the church today to discern how the church should move forward. And it's important. Eh? Prophets are not just priests and religious. And they do not only happen when we go for a prayer meeting. We are not talking about that kind of prophecy. We are talking about matured, filled with the Spirit, anointed leaders, lay and religious and clergy, who have a sense of the vision of the future. And it's important that the laity and the clergy must listen to each other, or else the church will never grow. Don't think, don't ever think, that the office of prophets is only in the hands of the bishops and the priests. It is not true. It is together as church that we discern. The church cannot grow without full-time missionaries, full-time clergy. We cannot just depend on volunteers. And that is why in our church today, in our archdiocese, we are trying to get as many lay people, lay leaders, who can do full-time ministry in the church, whether as volunteers or as paid staff. The church cannot be simply dependent on the clergy. We do not have enough in the first place. Our clergy are all very old. Two-thirds and above are 60 and above. We need, therefore, more lay missionaries today to be formed in faith, to be formed in theology, to be formed in pastoral ministry, because they are the real prophets today that can connect us with the world. And of course, these must come about through prayer, through discernment, through fasting. That's the whole problem with our church today. We have many good leaders, good-hearted, good-will, priests, religious, lay leaders, plenty. But you know, there is one thing we all hardly do. We hardly pray. We are very interested in having one project after another, activity after another. But how often do we gather together and say, let us pray to see what the Lord wants of us and how does He want us to carry out this mission? No, we jump right into the mission. This is all about our ideas, about deliberation and planning. Not to say these are not important. But this must be the fruit of prayer, a fruit of discernment. Otherwise, we end up doing our will. So prayer and discernment, very important in the ministry. Missionaries, bosses, they need to be supported. Priests, religious, full-time workers in the church, they need to live. We need to support them. That is why financial contribution is so necessary. If you cannot give yourself full time in the church ministry, then those of you who can should support our missionaries, our lay leaders. We need to pay for the upkeep. This is part of our contribution to the mission of the church. We cannot say it is not my responsibility. 
We cannot depend on volunteers only. Volunteers only give part time. All your energy are spent in doing secular work. And the little time they left, they give to the church. How can the church ever grow? We must utilize the energy, the passion of our capable lay leaders full time in the ministry, giving their heart and soul. Then the church can grow, can the church can evangelize. But very often we are short of resources, financial resources. We are not generous enough to invest on our leaders so that they can truly spread the gospel. And finally, most of all, we must be encouraging. We need to encourage our volunteers working in the church, our priests, our religious, full-time workers. Yes, it's not wrong to give constructive feedback. We should give constructive, but with charity, be gentle. But if we are always criticizing, putting people down, nobody is going to work for the church. Nobody wants to carry the cross. So as Christians, let us support each other in this mission.